Hello and welcome to the 10th issue of the FractalForums.com news. Cowstube was down for three months due to the climate crisis. The studio was flooded and the hardware was short-circuited. Now we are back with a new studio, a new computer and a new hairstyle. Just in time to announce the release of the third FractalForums.com calendar. Like this one. Again, its release is dependent on pre-sales. This year it cost only 15 euros. It is hoped that the necessary funding will be reached again. The calendar 2014 is titled Tweaking Parameters of Future Art. Its 12 artists come from 8 different countries. It's a good mix of newcomers and veterans with a focus on the human touch. A detailed presentation of the calendar will follow soon. Let's keep our fingers crossed that the pre-sales will enable the print. And here's a date to mark in your new board calendar. From June 25th to 27th, 2014, the first Fractal Art Symposium will be held in San Sebastian, Spain. Fractal artists and enthusiasts from all over the world are invited. Besides seminars, workshops and discussions, it will be a wonderful opportunity to meet in person. Several FractalForums.com members have already signed up, only 34 places left so far. This longed-for opportunity is given to us by Joseph Presley, a dedicated fractal artist who generously puts his time and energy into organizing the symposium. We had the chance for a brief interview. And what are you expecting from the symposium? I expect to create a real life interactive experience for the fractal art community, uh, an opportunity for fractal artists worldwide to connect on a non virtual level. You should come to the website mathartistry.com to see how the planned program is shaping up. Um, if you're interested, get, get registered now. Um, so that you can ensure um, a spot at the headquarters and will be right by the School of Architecture uh, for all of the lectures and uh, we will have a great time. Find out more about the symposium in the link below and also check out the art by Joseph Presley. Due to the flooding we didn't get to the report on this year's competition yet. Again, it was an awesome competition, with more than 180 contributions. User Arias from France won the still framed section with his image Primal Land. The top voted film was Books Are Stupid by user Ifri from USA. User Kali from Argentina won the axolotl section. Kali released his script, which has been explained in the Chaos Tube tutorial, linked in the description. As mentioned earlier, nearly every parameter of this script can be modified using the sliders on the right. Here, we modify the limp joints, the left and right part is modified at the same time, and we can adjust the arms, the hand and even the finger positions. For the first time, we were able to celebrate an award ceremony on the Evoke Computer Festival in Cologne, Germany. Hello. <laughs> you are the Champions League of digital art. <laughs> <laughs> I am here for inspiration. <laughs> the annual Fractal Art Competition has been held for the sixth time in 2013. The whole award ceremony video is linked below. So, what else is going on in the world concerning fractals? 3D printers bring more and more fractals to real life. Johan Andersson aka Kraftwerk created fractal jewelry. He offers a wide variation of mandelbulb rings and bracelets. The silver-coated one 
would make a nice engagement ring. For whom that isn't enough, you might consider printing a whole room covered in fractals. This room consists of 64 sandstone blocks weighing 4 tons. Two Swiss computational architects printed it out in one month of time. Unfortunately, the renovation of our studio was already done. Otherwise, we would have printed ourselves a fractal studio. For all you iPad users, we have a special recommendation. Frax is an interactive fractal application for the iPad. The intuitive user interface makes it easy for anyone to become a fractal artist. It is produced by Kai Krause known from Kai's Power Tools. He cooperated with user Sublue, aka Tom Beddard, who is a Fractal Forums.com member since 2009. Wow, many options for Fractal presents this year. Apps, jewelry and most important, the calendar. And that's it for today. Oh, a breaking news again in the show. What is it all about? Is it about the Holy Grail, the 3D uh, Mandelbrot? Has the Holy Grail been found? <laughs> no, but user Darkbeam is working on many new Mandelbalb 3D formulas. Most striking is the random iterated function system, which leads to fascinating distribution of uh, objects in the scene. And that's it for today. You see me next time. Goodbye.